Hi, this is Pam Goodell, Marketing Senior Director at the Institute of Transportation Engineers. Thank you for joining me for an overview of the Exhibitor Showcase that it will be taking place at the ITE 2020 Annual Meeting and Exhibition this August. This, I'm going to start by going over the current ITE website and what we offer. Then I will move to the virtual platform that the Exhibitor Showcase will be based on during the annual meeting, and then I will go over the benefits. During, um, during this webinar, if you have any questions, please feel free to um, put a message in the question box or your question in the question box, or in the chat box, you will see the um, emails for Tima and me, and you can reach out to us separately to ask your questions. I have also put a copy of the exhibitor benefits, which includes the pricing in the handouts section, so you should be able to access that as well. So let's get started. What you should be seeing on your screen right now is the current ITE website. And as you can see, we have a number of options to find out for more information. And one of those buttons is the exhibitor tab. This lists the current roster of exhibitors, as you can see here, and it's been updated to show that we've moved away from the floor plan and um, are just listing the, the current exhibitors you have there is a link to your website and we are hoping that all of you will be able to stay with us um, through the virtual uh, conference as well well let me back up for a second and go back to the the cover page of the website to give you a little bit more of a lay of the land about what will be taking place at the annual meeting this year because we have moved to a virtual format as you can see here, the conference is going to be taking place over three weeks. We're scheduling them three days a week, Tuesday through Thursday, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. For two weeks, we'll include a technical program, and then the third week will be the ITE Council and Committee meetings. What is important for you as an exhibitor to know is that the exhibit hall will be open the entire time that this conference is taking place. Moreover, while we expect a very good turnout of attendees, we are making the exhibit hall showcase actually open to our entire membership, which is more than 16,000 individuals, as well as uh, people outside our membership. So there is a much larger audience that will have access to the exhibitor showcase than normally would. Moreover, we are making this open to everyone at no cost so that you can invite your customers and your clients and prospective customers and clients at no charge. They will need to register, but it is a $0 registration. That registration gives them um, the login credentials they will need to access the virtual platform. Um, another point I want to make is that the, the exhibitor exhibit showcase will also be open 24 hours a day. Once you place your information on the platform, it will be available at any time. Obviously, you will need to uh, schedule your marketing team and sales team to be responsive on a, a schedule that works for you. However, again, the exposure and visibility that your company is getting is exponential um, in relative to an in-person meeting. So I think that is a significant benefit for this year. So with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the virtual platform. And in case you're wondering, um, we are running the virtual platform on our Blue Sky platform um, with our Blue Sky vendor. They are the uh, team that we work with to run all of our webinars. So those of you who have attended a webinar in the past or um, signed up for one should be available um, should be familiar with it. The first place I'm going to take you is to the 
uh, site where the courses are listed. The courses and the exhibitor showcase are on two different um, pages, simply um, to streamline and to provide exhibitors with more visibility. However, as you can see here, as we scroll down each day, the exhibitor information is on this course page and it will rest on every day of the meeting. So every day um, when people come to select the sessions that they will be attending that morning, there will be a listing for the exhibitors. We are still in the process of putting the exhibitor showcase together now, which is why you don't see it on day one, for instance. However, it will be there along with a tab for sponsors. When somebody clicks on this exhibitor showcase information, exhibitor information, they will be taken to a page where they can learn more about the exhibitors, maximize their experience, um, because we want them to be able to find the exhibitors as easily as possible. So as you can see here, um, we will have a tab for exhibitor descriptions, which is much like, um, which is exactly like what we've done in uh, previous on-site programs. And I do wanna make a comment about the on-site program um, in a minute. Um, and then we will also have a list of exhibitors alphabetically as well as by category. And by category, I mean, when you filled out your application, you indicated a series of um, categories that your company is in most involved in. And based on that listing, we are going to uh, list those, list the, your, list your company under each of those categories. And this is going to help not only you, because you, attendees are going to be able to find you more easily, but obviously attendees are going to want to narrow their search if they're looking for a specific organization. Um, and then lastly here is just um, for exhibitor, for attendees to be taken to the exhibitor showcase. Um, and so we'll go there now. So I can show you just how easy this platform is. As I said earlier, this is just a draft, but what you'll see when, um, what attendees will see when they first come here is the logo of all of the exhibitors. They'll be in alphabetical order and they'll be arranged in a, a much more uh, user and uh, better look and feel than this right now. But like I said, we're just um, getting this set up. And then when you come down here and just, just let me make a comment here, this information that you see here is all administrative functions. Attendees will not see this. Your the admin person that you um, establish for this is going to see this. Um, I will see it, but because we are in the back of the house, so to speak, this is popping up. But attendees will not see these um, boxes right here. What attendees will see, however, is a list of exhibitors here. And these logos here will then um, link to uh, the landing pages, your booth that you create. What you can see here is that in some cases, Econolite has three booths listed here. And that is because the size of the booth that they chose was a 20 by 20. So for a 10 by 10, you will have one booth. You, for a 10 by 10, 20, you have two booths and 20 by 20s have three. And this is to facilitate what products and services you may want to showcase in your booth. Um, you may want to have um, multiple products and that will allow you to do that in each booth. So let me go ahead and go into the booth I created for ITE, the sample booth that I created for ITE. And as you can see here, it is a, um, a landing page that you arrive at. And you can build out this booth 
in any way you would like to. And I will show you just how easy to do it is in just a minute. However, I want to show you that as part of this booth, you can also have um, more resources. You can put in a live um, a video or a live presentation. You can um, create a survey and you can even create a live event or in this case, a webinar. Um, so there are a number of opportunities here for you to make sure that you are creating a fully rounded booth that will um, get your message across and showcase your products and services to our attendees. So let me take a minute and um, delve into just how easy it is to set up this booth. So your admin person or people um, would be able to come into this section right here and it's a WYSIWYG editor. So the name of your booth obviously would be the name of your company. However, you could, if you're going to showcase different products and services, you could create something that says, well, you know, one of ITE's flagship, our flagship publications is the TripGen manual. So I could say this is about our TripGen manual. So you can update the name here, maybe spell it correctly. Um, and then within this content here, you can have photos, you can have a banner, um, you can embed a video. So this is actually an embedded video. And this is actually ITE's new membership video. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you go to the ITE channel on YouTube. It's a really cool video. Um, but you can also move information around. So let's say um, you wanted to move this down. Now I'm using keyboard controls because that's what I'm more familiar with, but these controls up here will also help your team do what they need to do. Um, and so I could move it down here if I wanted to. Um, I can move it back, maybe. Um, there we go. Um, and, and I think one of the great things about this is that, you know, we've all, um, ex I've exhibited and I know that you are all seasoned exhibitors, but sometimes you have worked with your marketing team and you put together what you want to bring to a conference and you get to the conference and, oh, maybe something didn't make the shipment. Maybe something got, um, misplaced during the shipment or you find out that people are coming up and talking to you about a product and service that you do not have information on with the, at the show at that point. Now, yes, of course, you can send an email to your marketing team. They can get you information or you can collect business cards and get people that information, um, but you lose time that way. This is updatable at any point. So if you find that a marketing message or a product and service that you originally put up here isn't what people are asking you about or aren't reaching out to you about, this information is changeable within just a few minutes. So that's what makes this um, a real great benefit to exhibitors. The other thing that you can do with this booth this virtual booth um, is, and I didn't mean to save it, but let's say I didn't, I, I click save and I didn't mean to save it. I can just go back in and delete what I didn't want to save, come back out. Click update the section and it goes back to what it was. Now, I will be available to help um, the people that you appoint as admins put their booth together. Um, also, um, whether it's the um, landing, the entrance point, or um, whether it is these different um, links, documents, presentations, what have you. So let's just say you wanna put in a presentation you just go ahead and fill out all this information. It's, it's, it really does 
um, walk you through it. It is incredibly uh, user friendly and I think it's intuitive. So you can have more information here. Um, and if you click on the advanced tab here, for instance, you can um, have more information about the video. And one of the reasons why I suggest I pick video first is another opportunity that you have with this booth is to showcase the expertise that your organization is bringing to the technical program. If you have a speaker or speakers who are participating on one of our sessions, I would recommend that you either put together a short document or even a, a short presentation where you talk about what they're going to be speaking on and encourage people <clears throat> to attend that session to learn more about um, your organization as well as that topic. Now, um, there is a cost to attend the full conference, but we have offered flexible registration um, opportunities. We have not only the full registration, but we have uh, a week registration as well as a day registration. So if um, a person who is coming to this um, exhibit hall uh, then wants to register to come for the day or come for the week to hear your company speak, we make it very easy for them to do so. I just wanted to point out that that is an opportunity that you don't always get um, during an in-person meeting um, to promote your company um, that um, what your company may be participating in during the conference. Um, again, all of these, as I showed you with the presentation, all of these are very easy to input information. So, um, and again, I'll remind you that I am here and available um, to help the um, individual that you appoint put this uh, booth together. The one last thing before um, I move over to the benefits is I want to talk a little bit about the reporting. So this platform provides um, a good level of a good level of metrics in terms of what you will be able to receive. And again, I'm going to go into the presentation um, to show you what kind of reporting that you will receive. So just bear with me for a second while it comes up. So when you click on this information, you will come down here to your member, the membership video and any other video. So it's not just one video you can upload. You can upload multiple videos. You at, so you can have two or three videos, two or three links, two or three documents. Obviously for the ITE website or what I'm showing you now, it is just a sample. So in terms of reporting, you can come over here and you can see user visits. So there have been 17 user visits. And then you can drill down into um, the name and email of the person, as well as the number of times they have viewed it, um, the play count, and the number of times watched. So there, there, it's a very robust set of metrics that you can um, access in terms of what you can find out about who has visited your site. Um, you can also, and this is gonna take a second, I believe. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to click on the search button. Well, I'm going to get another report. I can't tell you how many times that happens to me. Um, but we can also drill down to see how many people are visiting the exhibit hall overall. And that will help us drill down and help provide additional metrics to you um, about who is visiting and what they're visiting. Um, so. I think that is going to help you um, as a follow-up when you do your follow-up after the conference. So the last thing I want to talk about here is that I have received a lot of questions about chatting features and whether there is a discussion functionality. 
Yes, there is. It is um, Blue Sky partnered with a company called Discus, and this is an external um, partnership. So what would need to happen is you can go ahead and set up, um, uh, let me just scroll, um, go back here for just a second. Um, there are opportunities for you to set up discussions so you can see here i've set up the discussion and there's an opportunity for you to do this on almost every page um, frankly i wouldn't do that i would probably just pick one maybe two pages for you to have that discussion opportunity um, that opportunity is in the um, background of this. However, and to enable it beyond just um, people being able to make comments, you would need to um, log in and create an account with Discus. Now, I have gone ahead and taken a look at some of the information, and I'm going to, for the purposes of this webinar, show you that there is. Um, a basic no cost opportunity um, but there are also some other information there's other information here um, for you this is not something that we control this would be something that would be in addition to the uh, cost of your booth um, but you have control over how much you're going to um, spend and you could already potentially have a discus account um, based on other things that your company is working on and you can just leverage that um, but I uh, a lot of people have been asking that question so I wanted to include that in this webinar okay so let me um, come on over to the benefits page um, as you can see here um, we have listened to a number of our exhibitors um, about the value of the booth and we have revised the pricing so if you are already a reserve 10 by 10 or are interested in getting a 10 by 10 the cost is fifteen hundred dollars for a 10 an already reserved 10 by 20 um, or if you'd like to have that opportunity to have two booth spaces on the virtual platform it's thirty five hundred and then um, the 20 by 20 is 4500 and you can see that we've kept the benefits um i think we've got a very uh strong level of benefits here um some of them that i want to cover here as i said that document is a handout so you can spend some more time with it after this call um but i want to highlight a couple of different um aspects number one are these virtual drop-in sessions these virtual drop-in sessions mirror a lot of what ITE has already been doing. Um, and if you're not aware, since March, we have been hosting drop-in sessions where um, a presenter talks on a certain topic and then engages interactively um, with participants. And this virtual drop-in format is going to be what we offer to exhibitors as a way to replicate that live in-person conversation. We will be having a schedule of virtual drop-ins that exhibitors can sign up for throughout the entire three weeks of the annual meeting. Um, it will be on a first come first serve basis and we will be promoting those through our website, through Spotlight, online and um, during the conference itself that does not prohibit you or preclude you i guess from having your own live presentations the only difference here is with the virtual drop-in sessions we will do more of the promotion for you with the live presentations um, while they will show up in our um, platform the it will be more um, the promotion will be more on you um, obviously, with the virtual drop-in sessions, um, if we do promote them to the entire membership, there will be a, a larger audience that shows up. Um, with your own live presentations, we will work with you if you want to invite a certain sector, um, whether it's a specific 
attendance uh, attendee group or um, if you want to invite your own customers those live presentations that you set up give you a little bit more control whereas the virtual drop-ins will be more um, widespread so it, it depends on how you want to use those sessions um, a, a number of these other um, benefits are i think pretty self-explanatory i would um, like to highlight here that we have increased the number of complimentary full registrations over an in-person show that we've been able to offer pre previously. So um, exhibitors can, um, 10 by 10 can get two full registrations um, or four or six, depending on what size booth you get. That is separate from if a representative from your company is speaking, they will be contacted separately. These are just individuals who may want to attend the conference. Um, and then, we will also be doing a lot of work um, during the sessions themselves to recognize exhibitors as well as sponsors. So um, if we have a session on traffic signals, for instance, at the end of that session, a slide will come up that um, encourages everybody to visit the exhibit hall and specifically those organizations that have indicated under that category that I talked about previously with the application, that they're involved in traffic signals. Um, we will work with you also to have a live um, Facebook Live or Periscope event during the conference as well. Um, and then there will be additional opportunities for you to be recognized across all of our channels, um, whether it's ITE Journal, Spotlight, um, we will be having um, special issues of Spotlight the entire three weeks of the, um, actually it's two weeks of the conference, um, excuse me for that. So then um, down here, the last thing I wanna touch on is this guidebook. Um, as most of you are aware, how ITE um, has worked with marketing material before is we have a registration brochure that comes out it's a print version that comes out and is mailed widely um, throughout our membership and then we have an on-site program that is given out at the conference um, this year what we've decided what we are doing is we are marrying those two together to create what we're calling the online guidebook so the online guidebook will have the same um, information about the program that you will have seen um, previously in the on-site program, as well as information about exhibitors. But it is also going to have that information that attendees need to know to make sure that they can access the program um, online. Um, you know, not everybody has the same level of technology know-how, and so we want to make it as easy as possible for our attendees to know how to access and when to access the, the conference. And we're also going to be putting in other um, housekeeping information about how to acquire PDHs, um, rule, um, code of conduct, etc. So this is what will be. Um, kind of replace the registration brochure and the on-site program. So if you're going to advertise, the guidebook will be um, the place to do it. And the guidebook is going to be available not only on our homepage, um, because that is often the first place that people go, they'll just type in ite.org. So we'll make the guidebook available there on our, web, our conference website, as well as on the virtual platform. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this presentation. Um, thank you all very much for um, taking the time today to um, listen. And um, I look forward to um, having listening to your questions. And as I said, I was gonna wrap up. I did wanna comment on one thing before I actually let you go, which is about the 2021 conference in Portland. Um, we are very much looking forward to seeing you all in Portland in person next year. As an exhibitor, if you um, participate in this virtual conference, you will get top priority booth placement choice 
when we launch the uh, Portland show for exhibits. We plan on doing that in August during the virtual show. So during the virtual show, you will be contacted by YGS, by TEMA, about getting your first placement. So you will have first come, first serve opportunity. You will be at the top of the list. Um, following that will be um, anyone who um, chooses um, to move to the Portland show. You'll be just you'll be second priority, and then comes everybody after that. So I do really encourage you to um, consider your investment not only in ITE but the transportation industry overall um, and uh, exhibit this year. So um, with that, I am going to go ahead and wrap up and thank you very much for your time today.